one of the big things people ask all the time is do we have active volcanoes in California? Right now, we don't have any volcanoes that are actively flowing, but we have about 16 volcanoes that the USGS monitors to see if there's any activity changing or going on with them. Uh, among those 16 that they monitor, uh, seven of them are, monitor are, are within the high to very high threat risk category. The US Geological Survey ranks a volcano's threat based on the age of the volcano, the types of potential hazards, and the potential impacts it could have to people and property. California has three very high threat volcanoes that are monitored by the USGS. Mount Shasta, Lassen Volcanic Center, and Long Valley Caldera. The last volcano we had to erupt in California was Mount Lassen. Uh, it was over a period of uh, a few years, but the largest blast came in 1915 as you can see here, uh, to the north of Sacramento, uh, and it was viewed all through, from the east to the west. People over on the coast saw it as well, over in Eureka. Uh, it had an ash column that went up about 30,000 feet. Uh, the ash that fell down into the valley damaged numerous ranches and, and uh, farms, so it did have a big impact at that time. Volcanoes are caused by magma deep in the earth that rises up through the crust. And this can occur for many geologic reasons. California is very complex in terms of our geology. Uh, but once it reaches the top, it, it's, it's held there until it has a, an opportunity to flow out into the surface. Uh, they can come out very explosively. Uh, they can come out as flows like we see in Hawaii. So there's a variety of ways that, that volcanoes can, can flow out into the, onto the surface of the earth. Every flow makes the volcano larger. So when you see very cone-shaped volcanoes, you know that they've had many different types of flows that have come out over many, many thousands and, and millions sometimes of years. The California Geological Survey's role when there's a volcano or a volcanic eruption is to be in close contact with the USGS and the California Office of Emergency Services. We provide uh, the state with guidance and advice and we also go out and map the hazards as they're occurring and trying to document where other hazards might be. The US Geological Survey would be part of that as well and we'd be working with them to make sure that we cover the region uh, collectively. If you'd like to know more about what California Geological Survey does and how we support the efforts to map this event when it happens and provide information, go to the California Geological Survey website at the California Department of Conservation.